Duffy's fourth career walk off with that single last night in front of Mauricio Dubon as he takes a strike here. See he's playing in just his 51st game of the season. And he's on the outside edge 0 and 2 paid umpire he's going to have a warm day behind that plate there outside on that pitch. And Duffy shoots one down the right field line that is going to drop foul. A little tapper foul. Originally Vasquez was going to catch Hunter Brown tomorrow. This ball grounded to the right side. Yuli Gurriel will race to the bag himself and beat Duffy. He had a very interesting game facing at one run. He threw nine pitches to Mike Trout. And he struck him out three times. Couldn't connect on any of them. He does connect on this pitch, but he pops it way up in the air. Yuli a chance to make his second play of the day. As he puts away that six of eight. And they've done so against some pretty good competition. They beat the Blue Jays, the Yankees, and the Astros. Catches the top of the zone for a strike, one and one. And that's one thing you've got to give credit for him, but there's some other key pieces. Marsh got traded away. Walsh just had season ending surgery. So opposing him is going to be extremely tough. But there's definitely a resurgence of hope when he's on the mound. Brent Hepo lines a two one pitch into right field for a base hit. So the Angels have their first hit of the game. Luis Renhepo. Player has ever done that in the World Series era. I didn't see that. Where did he slide in with that ERA? Number five now in ERA. Okay. Plate. Ryan Wills didn't miss many calls, but he missed a critical one there. And allowed Duffy. Fastball <laughs> up, one and two. Per day start one hour earlier than normal, 6 10. With Hunter Brown making his major league debut. Yuli gives it a peak, but that was. Five rows deep behind the Astros dugout to the lower bowl, but the majority of people are underneath. It's a way two and two. Ground ball towards short. Pena will move to his left. He'll make the play to first, and that'll do it for the Angels. Let us know what you think. TK? All right, Julia, Mike Ford will lead things off. Can you just vote yes? No. Gosh. If they do so, it'll be. Second time in Dusty Baker's career, he's won 100 games. He won 100 in his very first season as a manager. It's now and they have a nice little margin in that category, as we showed you earlier. The Yankees were winning late in their game in Tampa Bay. Yankees. Aaron Judge is three for four, the home run and a double. It's amazing. In Cleveland, they were in a rain delay. They're still in a rain delay. That pitch misses off the plate. Cleveland? Believe it or not. Wow. Swing and a miss, Urquidy picking up a strikeout his first. Five to two, and they designated for assignment Dallas Keuchel before the game. So the Astros will not see the former Cy Young over here. And this game will not hurt him either. As Ang runs <laughs> for as quickly as Urquidy can work at times. He throw a lot of strikes, keep guys on their toes on defense. Strikes, able to work through those innings relatively quickly. 20 of 28 strikes, 21 of 29 as he strikes out a dead in the American League, trailing just Dylan Cease in that category. Actually, that's a major league ranking. He went six innings of four hit baseball against the Mets that day. This ball line, but Jose Altuve hardly had to move. That's what he said. That's, that's a good pitch. That was wild. You didn't hardly ever see a defender make a play. Now Andrew Velasquez, the batter. Velasquez missing that pitch. Butter Kitty throwing the curveball and the slider is so far in this game. He hasn't thrown a changeup. It's night. Very good outing for Luis Garcia. You know, our favorite post game <laughs> these days. Luis was he was great. He should have been after a good start like that. He'd been working on so much and Dusty's starting to come together for me and and he really needed that, too. He's been really frustrated. He said, I didn't even need to get mad last night. Everything was working. Bullpen session going into the game. Horrible, he said. <laughs> wow. Had no idea that curveball was going to be any good. Number nine hitter, Andrew Velasquez. 
as he continues to foul off three two pitches for Marchetti. Brutal honesty, whether it's good or bad. He has a good time answering the questions. Almost as if I think he looks. Now Matt Duffy, the batter, with a runner on. And Duffy looks at a pitch pretty close, but called a ball, 1-0. Oh. Like you said, coming out of the bullpen, a little bit of concern, but saw the adjustment. Well, the pitch is a called ball, and the throw down was a good one. By wow. Man. Now 2-0 pitch is a called strike. 2-1 to Duffy. That team caught Steelings leading all American League catcher. And fouled out of play. Man. Yeah. Tough at bat for Keaty. Yeah, that's the same pitch that was called a ball to start this season. Balls that have gone against him. And a ground ball to the right side. Nice diving stop by Altuve. Yuli Gurriel his first time up. And he pops this one up. Yuli behind first base. In foul territory. Basket catch. And he'll make the throw. Now Luis Renjifo had a base hit his first time up. Chops one towards first. Yuli can make the play himself. He could either tag the runner or get to the back. He and his ability to track fly balls out there. Only 28 games to go after two trip later on this month that will go through Tampa Bay and Baltimore, and that's it. Only 10 more road games after this one. It's three city trips. Astros have only had one losing road trip on the season. And that came. Twins are winning today 3-1 to one in the ninth. The Twins were only one game behind in the Central. There are three teams log jammed within two games coming into today in the AL Central. Forward with a count of one and one. He He's not over yet in that. Mike Ford has had his share of time in the major. The Atlanta Braves and now the Los Angeles Angels. So he's had two NL teams and two AL teams as Ford goes down. Hard with the Orioles two games away. Here's Joe Adele. Going upstairs, one and two. Adele recalled July 13th for his third stint with the Angels. Foul back. Game losing streak. Adele goes down for the second consecutive time. Back to back hits and a walk in this game. Worked around a first and third one out situation in the third, getting Mike Trout to pop up. It all came in one inning, a second inning, where the Astros sent nine men to the plate against Tucker Davidson. Aguilar, a former University of Arizona Wildcat, fouls one away. It's one one. Play level for the Rocket City Trash Pandas. Swing and a miss. It's one and two. Angels were in Toronto, now his second time around when rosters were expanded. Grounds this one to Jose Altuve. Altuve will make it. Well, Julia, the Astros and the broadcast team are turning home after this game. Are you anticipating any? <laughs> <laughs> That's what road trips will do to you. It's a holiday weekend. I mean, are oh, things cleared know. up with you in orbit? <laughs> oh, and to the count to Chad Waller. The fans have no idea what we're talking about. Julia went on a little excursion, if you will, before a game. You're selling it a little bit short. You can. Well, there were flowers and rose red carpets. Red getting swings on pitches that you would think deserve swings with two strikes. He's just pounding the zone. Yeah, there's a little bit of a disc trying to set those pitches up to be able to get those strikeouts without the swing. Like right now, our key's ahead 0-2. He's not a guy that necessarily wastes a lot. Velasquez walking and stealing a bases last time. That one's a little bit in, 1-2. and two. Three pitches. 
That's second best in all of baseball. Yeah, be ready. Throw 70% strikes, regardless of the count, to lefties. And that one is close. And it's two and two. Try to. Going in, almost clips Velasquez. And here he is once again working the count to full. Considerably, considerably, nine degrees. Didn't mean to, and he is going to get a check swing ground ball to Urquidy. That's a fair ball. Velasquez. State of Texas and Evaldi, we appreciate their support. Pitch off the plate for ball one to Duffy, who reached on an infield hit his last time up. Jose Urquidy shutout had that ball gotten past Urquidy, or passed out to be rather. Velasquez would have scored instead. Mike Duffy grounding out and singling in this game. This one hit high in the air into right field. Kyle Tucker doesn't see it, I don't think. Yes, he does. Took him a while to. We mentioned last time, Urquidy struck out Trout three times on nine pitches, and today he's been underneath. Third and one out. Mean to on a close pitch. It's have a quick exit, but here he is through six innings as Arkiti picked up a strikeout. Astros trying to improve to away from Seattle. Fastball for a strike. Off. Right back to the mound. Urquidy, nice play as he snags that ground ball and flips in Astros history. 102 feels like 107 at game time. And Urquidy has looked very comfortable all day as he delivers a strike to Taylor. 59 of 92 pitches for strikes. This ball sent into right field. Kyle Tucker will come in and make the play. He is fly down and struck out. Urquidy with six strikeouts today. There's a called strike. Pitches on the day. Threw 102 in his last start against the Orioles. That ball line passed out to Bay into right field. Third hit of the game for the Angels. Mike Ford on base here with six in the third innings. That was a third hit allowed. Pitching the top of his own. Plate wide. Oh, just foul, may have broken his bat on that one two swing. Going up and in, two and two. Hunter Brown and added them to the 40 man roster with rosters expanding. This ball down the line past Hensley. In the left field, Ford will get to third base. That'll be a double for Joe. Inside for a ball, 1 0. Multiple innings and finish this game off and protect some of those guys as we head back home after this game. And two and one. Swing, no contact at the curveball. Yeah. Little bit in, count goes full. Ryan Aguilar. Understandably, your kitty might be at the end of his. String here as he punches his fist into his. Where Kitty should get extended rest after this. Or Kitty should get a week until his next start next Sunday against the Rangers as he picks up. Got him! Jose Urquidy, who rarely.